So I want to show you how fast these car temperatures actually heat up. So with an air temperature of 80 degrees, so that's typically mid-morning for us across the Tampa Bay area. Air temperature of 80 degrees, car in direct sunlight after 10 minutes, that temperature inside the car is about 100 degrees. After a half an hour, it's almost 115 degrees. And after an hour, those temperatures are above 120. And that's with an air temperature of just 80 degrees. When we raise that air temperature to 90 degrees, after 10 minutes, the air temperature inside the car goes up about 20 degrees. After 20 minutes, that temperature inside is about 120 degrees. After an hour, those temperatures inside the car can exceed that 130 degree mark. Now again, as we look at the elapsed time here on a graph, you can see that the in increase in temperature, the most increase in temperature really happens after in within the first 20 minutes. You might think, okay, well, I'm gonna leave my windows open to let some airflow in to kind of prevent that temperature from rising. And it does help, but still after 10 minutes with an air temperature of 92 degrees, those temperatures are over 110, uh, over 100 degrees. And after an hour, those temperatures are equivalent to a, a car with closed windows as well. So it's summertime, Lee, and we do have to, uh, you know, keep an eye on where we park our cars. That does help if you park it in the shade, but those temperatures still rise really quick. And make sure you don't leave anything in the car, the, the pets, the, the kids, even for a little bit. I mean, you saw in the first 20 minutes. It's a big jump. Heat up so quickly. Thank you very much, Amanda. And right now the sun is coming.